So Jack, it was a bit of a longer uh, Christmas break this year, three weeks. How much work did you have to put in off the field to sort of keep your training standards up? Yeah, no, we, we had to, um, you know, work pretty hard over that three week break to, to make sure we, we came back in good nick. Um, you know, the, you know, Dave Misson and his, his team, um, you know, gave us programs we had to follow. So uh, it wasn't necessarily different to what we were doing in previous years with just the two weeks. It was just um, a week of uh, do it, you know, an extra week of doing the program with, um, you know, away from the club. So um, yeah, everyone's came back in really good condition, which is, uh, which is a positive. And as usual, pretty warm conditions in Melbourne. How do you, the boys sort of deal with the heat at this time of year out on the track? Uh, you got to try and do it early or late, um, but yeah, otherwise just battle through it. Um, you know, it provides a good opportunity to, to test yourself physically and, and mentally. You know, that's a lot of teams are going up to, you know, northern, you know, Queensland to, to do their pre-season camps for that reason is the, the heat. Um, you know, we're going up to Maroochydore at the end of the month. So, um, yeah, it just provides a good opportunity to, um, yeah, add an extra level of stress to the to the body, but maybe um, yeah, you want to escape it, you just got to get up and do it a little bit earlier. And personally, you've had a few interrupted seasons with injury. How are you sort of feeling at this time of the year as opposed to the last couple? Yeah, feeling feeling really good. And, um, you know, I'm definitely further advanced this pre-season than what I was um, in previous. So uh, I'm still in rehab, but I'm starting to put consistent, you know, eight, eight kilometre sessions together, which um, is really good. I, I don't think I was even running at this point uh, last year. So... Um, I've probably been been putting together those sessions, um, you know, a week previous to Christmas. So I'm now, you know, coming up to a month of um, having a good solid training block, which is exactly what my body needs. I haven't had, um, you know, consistent training load for a few years now. So, um, yeah, just just keep ticking boxes and, um, you know, it's doing the world of good for, for my feet and my body. Do you have goals or timeframes in mind of when you want to get back with the main group? Uh, not really. You know, I'm not, not too focused on the... Um, you know that end goal when I when I'll re be returning into the main group, I'm just really making sure I'm I'm making um, the most of every session now, making sure it's quality, making sure I'm pulling up really well because um, yeah, like I said, I just my body hasn't had consistent load for for a while now, so that's my main focus is to make sure um, yeah I can just back it up and, and make sure I get a really solid block of training because I know that's the best thing for me and when I come back I come back. Um, but yeah, right now, this is going to set me up for long term. And prior to Christmas, the rehab group had a fair few numbers in it. Is it sort of looking a bit smaller now? How are some of the other boys tracking? Yeah, I think now's the time, you know, there's like that three to four months post-surgery where everyone starts to, to filter back into the, the main group. So yeah, that rehab group will start, the you know, numbers will start dwindling, which is, uh, which is perfect. It's what we want. Um, but yeah, a bit of a slower start uh, with the amount of surgery we had. And um, yeah, they're all starting to filter back in now. And just because we made finals this year, sort of pushed into September, pre-season started a bit later, does that impact at all where we are now as opposed to the last couple of years fitness-wise? No, nah, not at all. You know, I, I think the general feeling, um, you know, amongst the, the playing group is it, it's a long time pre-Christmas if you don't play finals. Like you, you kind of get to Christmas and you're, you're pretty much hitting your peak and then you're just holding on for the, for the next few months waiting for games to roll around. But, um, you know, having gone that extra month into the the finals campaign means we start a month later and I just feel like that's given us a really good balance um, to, to you know the performance side of thing but also um, you know having a break and, and rest I just think the timing will be uh, will be perfect come come games Brilliant. thanks very much for your time cheers mate